from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. This was England, land of churches, of ivy-clad colleges, of quiet countryside. Today, shattered and blasted by Hitler's Luftwaffe. Brave London, historic Coventry, all England knows the terror of frontline destruction. Ancient China is fighting an ancient enemy. What a modern, relentless, driving enemy. We are fighting by China's side, for we too have been stabbed in the back. We're counting on the wonderful strength of Russia, on its stern resistance to the aggressor in defense of its homeland, and its smashing power of attack in all kinds of weather with all kinds of equipment. Africa, torrid land of antiquity, springs into the headlines with tales of desert fighting, of surprise attacks and retreats. Our allies in Africa, England, China, Russia, are battle-scarred and torn. Their homes and cities, their wounds which will take years to heal. But America's main street still looks the same. Our broadways and main streets aren't ragged and pitted with bomb craters, but they're fighting. Their sons are fighting overseas. Their men and women at home are giving guns to half the world. They're sending food and clothes, tanks and planes. They're doing a job. In the West, they're harvesting huge crops of grain, tons of grain, car loads, ship loads. And in the West are the cattle lands, great herds and getting bigger. 10 billion pounds of beef a year for the fighting United Nations. Here's food and clothing on the hoof for the best fed, best dressed fighting forces in the world. America's grazing land, her orchards and fields make her truly the pantry of democracy. From the ranges of the Great Lakes Basin comes iron ore, down the inland route to the steel mills of the east. To the mills comes scrap iron and steel from every American home to be melted down shortly to reappear as tanks and trucks, guns and bombers. Bombers for fast freight to Tokyo and Berlin. Yes, Broadway and Main Street, you're doing your share. To harbors and ports come all of these, the vital tools of war. Docks are piled high with cargoes for the convoys that are bringing the fight to the enemy. For America is determined not to wait for the war to come to her. She is carrying the fight. She's sending her sons and ships to meet the foe. Her convoys fly the sea lanes up and down the coast, eventually overseas. They're guarded on their way by escort vessels, fast armed Coast Guard cutters which are getting them through in the face of enemy submarines. But it's a tough, dangerous job, even for seasoned men. And always over them is the threat of sudden attack. So preparedness is the watchword, readiness their creed, for theirs is the responsibility of a whole fleet of ships. High overhead rides a Navy blimp, the eyes of the convoy. Their eyes must be sharp and alert because submarines aim and fire their deadly torpedoes sometimes miles away from their target. Here's the Navy, Coast Guard, and Merchant Marine all working together to get the convoys through. Traveling south now, down the Atlantic coast a good many miles from shore, the convoy's real position is a secret. But to the officers up on the bridge, and the men on deck and below, it's Torpedo Junction, the hottest spot along the whole seaboard. And here it is, a ship's been hit, 
and the blinker from just the stern of it is telling the story, giving directions. No radio can be used. It would tell the sub what it wants to know, the extent of the damage. Battle stations for everyone aboard, ready for the counterattack. Even the anti-aircraft gun for who knows. Then suspense while the cutters race for the suspected location of the sub. Gun and gun crews stand by and ready. The Y guns ready. And here it comes. Chances are it's a deep one this time, a hundred or two hundred feet down. The blimps drop the smoke bomb, so it's get set again more action coming. Did they get it? They're not saying, but you can bet nobody's throwing oil overboard these days. The shooting's over, all quiet now, but there's a cost to be counted. During the action, a cutter was rammed, a smashing blow that left a gaping hole. Ship and Coast Guard crew were saved, and they'll be back. Next, locate the men from the stricken freighter. To the men on the Coast Guard cutter, finding and saving disaster victims is an old story. They have been rescuing men at sea in peace and war for over 150 years. Coast Guardsmen, all men, have a deep respect for these, the merchant seamen, because they'll go right back to sea again. They're tough and grim, and they're counting the ships gone through not down. Neither they nor we can say how many get through or to where, but this we know. The average is high. We know there'll be courageous men aboard them and that they will get through. Broadway, Main Street, USA. These are yours, your son, your work. Under the guns of fighting ships and fighting men, They'll carry the fight and fight to win. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.